Welcome to Superior Profit Monday morning meeting where we do live 360 degrees analysis and answer Q&A session. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself as usual. You may find out more about our company and the trading systems from the website superiorprofit.co Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. Let's look at the topics. First, we look at the global markets, Australia, China, Hong Kong, India, and UK. Then I will continue from the discussions of market roundup, further review the stocks in diversified banks industry, which is one of the strongest industries as of last week, and show how using several key indicators and the fundamental valuation of the stocks, you could buy some well-known stocks at a very low price. Then I will look at home building industry, which is one of the weakest industries at present. However, I found several value stocks that are holding on to their price levels. We'll see if they are able to go up next week and next week means this week. Today is Monday already, though today is a market holiday in the USA. If they are able to go up this week, Along with the industry, they may give low risk buying opportunities. Then I will go through some of the new indicators that we are planning to roll out. I used some of them in the weekly market roundup and we'll use them further into the session. One of them is the pressure extreme. This may indicate exhaustion when buying or selling is happening with great force. This indicator will give confidence to the prevailing trend. For example, if our trend following long trade setup, that is the go with flow long setup is accompanied with extreme pressure. This is not a required condition. The required conditions are in the unambiguous checklist, but this will be an additional confirmation. If we have multiple go with flow trend following long opportunities, we may use the extreme pressure to choose one of them. If there is a breakout or there is a reversal from a natural reversal point that are accompanied with extreme pressure, then we have more confidence in the breakout and the reversal. What are the natural reversal points? In Q systems, they are either a headwind signal or support resistance levels, smart trend lines, memory lines, or smart pivot levels, watermark levels. If price is reversing from these indications, headwind, memory, or watermark with pressure extreme, then we may have more confidence in the reversal. Also on the market ETFs or futures, if there are successive, not one after another, but nearby pressure extreme days that may indicate exhaustion and then a follow through day. We are also going to have a look at U-turn in pressure. That is a very high bullish pressure immediately followed by a bearish pressure or vice versa. 
that will indicate heavy selling followed by heavy buying or vice versa that's why we call it u-turn this adds conviction to a reversal again especially when it is happening near natural reversal point which are headwind signal or memory or watermark support resistance levels continuing with the theme of catching reversal points we already had the pendulum or price extreme indicator and we also had the reversal indicator you can combine both of them reversal at price extreme to catch the top or bottom of a stock you may use it to book profit or protect profit apply trailing stop or use put options for a long position that is already in profit and you can also use it to start looking for a reversal trade if we have time then I will look at some of the recent forum posts. We'll look at the USA market forum posts and see how they did. I had a position in several of them and I exited based on my personal discretion. And if you go through the latest five, six, seven posts, you will find out that if I didn't apply my discretion, just followed the systems, that would have turned out to be better. I didn't lose money, but I could have profited more. All these forum posts, I think 90%, 95% of them are analyzing stocks at the right edge. The remaining five to 10% may be example posts, illustrating day trading, etc. Most of the posts are looking at the charts at the right edge and then following up on the result. This is aimed to be a repository of examples of how to use 360 degrees analysis in live market. If we don't have enough time to go through the number four topic, we'll have a look at it next week let's start with the other topics at any time you may ask questions through the chat or the q a panel we start with the global markets this is a x j o australian market the Bearish headwind could catch the top, bullish headwind could catch the bottom in the weekly chart. It has gone up for four weeks and the last candle is Monday's candle in complete week this week. We don't know how the weekly shape will end up. Right now the shape is mixed. It has hollow body and upper tail. Though price recovered in the weekly chart, if we look at the daily chart, we see it is not in a clear uptrend. It was going down. Now it has gone up. It is near the watermark resistance level. Still in a sideways range. To be in confirmed uptrend, it should break above the watermark resistance then to have a low risk entry point we will wait for a pullback and then price to go up again that will give us a go with flow trend following long setup at this point at present price has recovered significantly from the lows it is also near the declining white direction line today's candle shape is mixed it will be safe not to take any long trade right now instead if you have profitable long position you may book profit or protect profit we'll see a similar pattern in the other global markets they are mostly not in a clear uptrend let's look at hong kong hsi index
price in the weekly chart is going up from the memory smart trend line support. In the daily chart, price is near watermark resistance, near declining white direction line. We will not try to take long trade now. Price has recovered from the recent low. Looking to the right, looking from the right inside the chart, where could we take the low risk long trade? That would be on this day. This day displayed a bull release signal. Price was bouncing up from memory trend line support in the daily chart and price was going up from the memory trend line support in the weekly chart at the same time. There was a watermark level here. Price created a false downside breakout of that support level. Also, we see there was a bullish headwind earlier. From there, price could go up. As I have said many times, if a bullish headwind is able to push price up and then price comes back to retest that area, it is likely that some buying is left and price will go up enough, at least just enough to give us a profitable swing trend. The direction trend, the trend direction may not change, but it is likely to move up enough to give us a profitable long swing trend as it gave in this case also. Right now, there is no direction. So we are not going to take any trend following trend. The trade that we could take at the bullish release signal, that would be a reversal trade, not a trend following trade. That was Hang Seng Index, Hong Kong market. Let's look at China market, CSI 300, Shanghai Shenzhen Index. And we are using Metastock U Global because Metastock Q Global allows us to analyze global markets. China index in more clear downtrend than Hong Kong or Australia. Weekly is in a downtrend. Daily is again having a similar pattern, sideways range. Daily recovered, came to the memory resistance line. Today's candle shape is mixed. There is no low risk swing trade entry opportunity right now. India market, in last several Monday morning meetings, we saw this was the stronger of all these markets. Let's see if that is true today also. Yes, it is true today also. The weekly is going up. All the other three markets we saw just now, Australia, Hong Kong, China, the weekly was going down. Weekly is going up. However, in recent weeks, it's not able to go up strongly. And that is shown in the daily chart. It is having equal highs, though the lows are going up. That's why we have memory trend line support at the lower end. We don't have memory resistance, but we have watermark resistance. So the tops are at equal level the bottom side going up. If we are looking for a buy opportunity, we may wait for price to break above the watermark resistance and breakouts tend to not give low risk entry point. Therefore, one may look for a pullback and then price to go up again. Right now, it is safe to stay away from India market. UK market, FTSE. Price is right at the memory resistance in the weekly and also at memory resistance in daily. Safer not to try to take any long trip. Instead, if price steals down from here, you may look for a short opportunity either in FTSE or in the constituent stocks. And if you look for shorting opportunity, we we'll look for them in fundamentally weak stocks and also in industries that are weak or weakening. We call that 360 degrees analysis. That was a review of the global markets. Now let's continue from the market roundup and look at the 
to industries, diversified banks and home building and further look into the stocks that I discussed in the market roundup. Starting with QH, I have currently set it to the USA market. It could be used to analyze other markets, Australia, Hong Kong, India, Singapore, etc. That will allow us to do sector, industry, and stock fundamental analysis for all these countries. Last week ended with a very bullish performance. In this graph, sector performance graph, we see all the 11 sectors went up on Friday and all the 11 sectors went up for the week also. Financials was the best performer for the week. It was week earlier and using QH sector heat map, you could identify the exact turning point. This is the sector heat map and scorecard. We can double click on any column header to sort by that column and double click again to reverse the sort order. Cyan color represents stance strength financials is the strongest sector and the pace column indicates acceleration deceleration cyan represents acceleration so we have a case here in financial sector where the strongest sector is also the most accelerating sector and looking to the right we see it was very weak earlier using the heat map you could identify the exact turnaround point and that analysis is applicable to utilities as well which was strong earlier now weak energy which was weak earlier now strong they started reversing the roles and the exact week when the role reversal happened i discussed it in that week's market roundup I think I named that market roundup sector role reversal. Let's drill down into the financial stocks by clicking this binocular button. That will bring the financial industries in the industry tab. Let me double click on the five days column to sort it. We see diversified banks is the strongest among financials. Let's look into the underlying stocks, do a PR analysis by clicking the PR button. We have these few stocks in the QH stock scorecard. We can double click on valuation and see that Citibank is the one, C is Citibank, which has optimal valuation. Optimal valued stocks, that is good value stocks, are shown in cyan color overvalued stocks would be shown in magenta color here none of the stocks are overvalued there are some medium valuation stocks when we look for fundamentally strong stocks we either look for value stocks we use the valuation column for that or we look for good earnings growth we use the latest quarters earnings growth for that for some countries that doesn't have quarterly earnings, we may look at the yearly earnings growth. For the USA market, the stocks report quarterly earnings, so we can look at the quarterly earnings growth. And if we look at that, we see all these stocks, they have decent quarterly earnings growth and also the recent year earnings growth. So fundamentally, we have a reason to look for buy setup in all these stocks they all pay decent dividend, not very high, but decent dividend as well. So we had a case here where financials were starting to go up. We could see that from sector analysis, we could drill down. We could see the industries were starting to also change color from magenta to cyan. We could look at buying opportunities. If we drill down into diversified banks, we could see all the stocks were giving enough reasons in terms of fundamentals and industry to look for buy setups. Let's now look at these stocks using Q at a glance template. 
in dashboard i have set my technical trading system to q elite that is the q technical trading system on trade station so when i select the stocks based on any criteria valuation criteria i can use control click to select the other stocks based on earnings criteria click the chart button that will allow me to transfer the stocks to radar let's look at them one by one citibank displayed the bullish headwind signal in the daily chart at the very bottom on the day that the bullish headwind signal came the weekly candle shape was already bullish the color was not bullish but the shape was bullish and we have this headwind trade setup with unambiguous checklist conditions the checklist condition looks for either a yellow candle in the weekly chart or a bullish shape candle hollow candle for example as in this case so that checklist condition was made based on weekly chart and in daily chart also all the checklist conditions were made we had the bullish headwind signal we had a bullish shape candle and price was below lower boundary level so we could expect decent reward risk ratio we could buy at the close of that day our stop would be just below recent low because headwind is a reversal trade setup we would not expect trend to change sometimes trend may change but we wouldn't expect that we would like to book profit once the risk distance was covered at least partial profit that would be booked here as the industry was strong the stock was fundamentally strong technical was strong we would continue to hold partial position and that partial position will still be held citibank was a clear buy opportunity on this day that was just after christmas 26th december i mentioned about several new indicators and let me explain that how it could further support the buying decision they are not in the checklist because these are not necessary conditions but they are additional confirmations how to use them if you have multiple buying opportunities you could use the confirmations to choose one against the other this is the same movement indicator momentum speed acceleration that we had and then we are going to add few more indications one is the pressure extreme if it is bullish pressure meaning price is going up strongly with heavy volume then it will show up in green color bearish pressure will show up in red color it can be green or it can be cyan for the bullish side and it can be red or magenta on the bearish side magenta is more extreme than red cyan is more extreme than green how just green is enough good enough to know that there is bullish pressure just red is good enough to know that there is bearish pressure and sometimes there is a bearish pressure immediately followed by bullish pressure that shows up as a u turn u turns at a natural reversal point gives us further reason to take a reversal trend natural reversal point in this case was the bullish headwind signal and we had extreme pressure which was also a u-turn from a extreme bearish pressure so we had further confirmation to take a long trade on this day we are also going to add the pendulum or price extreme color at the at this level this is the movement band we added the pendulum color also here and we can see Citibank was at pendulum extreme low. That is extreme low price level. Magenta is more extreme than red. On 26 December, the extreme level reduced little bit. From magenta, it became red. And we had a reversal candle that is shown by the top dot. Reversal candle meaning the low of the candle went below the low of the previous candle, but the closing was higher than the high of the previous candle so it had a reversal candle 
Now, if we combine everything, we had a bullish headwind signal that also gave us a confirmed bullish headwind trade setup when we applied the unambiguous checklist conditions. Then on top of that, we had a extreme pressure move with U-turn of extreme pressure that showed exhaustion of the bears. Heavy selling immediately followed by heavy buying. And we also had a reversal at pendulum low. There is also a technique of using price move following a doji candle. We had a doji candle just before the bullish headwind came. So we had a high close doji setup as well. There were many signals to lead us to buy Citibank. Technically, in fact, Citibank gave us maximum bullish signals on this day. And fundamentally, we already saw Citibank was the strongest in terms of fundamentals also when we combine valuation, earnings, and dividend. So we would buy Citibank if we had to buy one. But fundamentally, we saw we could buy any of them. Let's look at the other stocks, Bank of America, BSC. Again, it displayed the bullish headwind at the very bottom. In this case, the weekly candle color was turning yellow, was not able to stay neutral, uh, was not able to stay magenta bearish anymore. It was turning neutral. It didn't have, oh, it had price extreme, but it didn't have U-turn. It had no reversal candle, but it was at pendulum low. So it had less technical buy signals than Citibank. This is what I mentioned in the market roundup. Let's look at JPM, JP Morgan. Again, a bullish headwind signal. Again, a price extreme. And in this case, we have reversal from pendulum low but there is no U-turn. U-turn meaning bearish extreme followed by bullish extreme. In this case, bearish extreme was not there in pressure, only bullish extreme pressure. So technically, JPM was in between Citibank and BSC. So if we had to buy one, we would buy Citibank. If we had to buy two, we would buy Citibank and JPM. Let me look at one more. Wells Fargo. Again, a bullish headwind at the very bottom. The weekly was starting to go up, but the shape was indecisive in this case. Sorry, not indecisive. The shape was bullish because long lower tail is also bullish and hollow body is also bullish. So shape was bullish, color was magenta. Same case as was in Citibank. That allows us to take a bullish headwind trade. We also had, in this case, pressure extreme bullish and also a pressure U-turn. That is bearish pressure immediately followed by bullish pressure is U-turn. And we had a stock at pendulum low and then a reversal at pendulum low. So this was also giving many, many technical buy signals. If we compare now in our mind, our first choice would have been Citibank, then Wells Fargo, then JP Morgan. All of this could be bought at the very low by combining industry strength analysis, fundamental analysis, technical analysis. What about US Bank Corp, USB? Here, we didn't have a bullish headwind signal. We had price at pendulum low, reversal at pendulum low, and pressure extreme, but no bullish headwind signal. So we would not look for a buying opportunity here if we were using the Q-trade setups. Now, if we combine all of them, our first buying 
preference would be Citibank followed by US Bank of followed by JP Morgan. We had three out of five stocks in the same industry giving many, many indications for a buy opportunity. Another thing to note, when we have five stocks in one industry and several of them, majority of them in this case, four out of five are displaying the headwind reversal signal, then we have even more confidence in the reversal signal. It may not be a good idea to take a long trade in all the four banking stocks at the same time, because if for some reason the banking industry reversed, all of them would go into loss. So from a risk management perspective, one may not buy all the stocks at the same time in the same industry. But looking at bullish headwind appearing in four out of five stocks in the same industry would give you even more confidence to take a buy trend. How could a trader use that additional confidence? A trader could have more aggressive trading instrument than less aggressive one. For example, instead of just buying the stock, one could buy call option. Or one could buy the call, sell the put. In selling the put has margin requirement, but it is same as the margin required for buying the stock in many brokerages. So one could buy the call, sell the put, that would be a synthetic stock long position. That would be a more aggressive instrument in some way than the stock itself. One could use that. One could also protect the naked put by a further out of the money long put option. That would be the instrument that Jeffrey calls Jeffrey Synthetic. Dr. Jeffrey, many of you would know him. So one would be able to take little more aggressive instrument than normal in this case, because many stocks displayed the buy signal at the very bottom. The risk was very low because stop loss would be just below the recent loss, not very far from the entry price. That was our follow-up discussion on diversified banks. Then I discussed home building in the market roundup, which was one of the weakest industries of the week. Let's refresh the industries in QH, short over five days to get the weakest industries of the week. Magenta color under five days, home building is one of them. Normally we look for shorting opportunities in weakest industries, but when I drill down to the stocks, I saw there were several value stocks. Instantly we know which are value stocks. They are in cyan color under valuation column. And then I saw several of them are having positive earnings growth as well. So let us look at these few stocks, which are having optimal valuation and also positive earnings growth in recent quarters. These few stocks. Actually this, no, not this. These few stocks. Let me get the symbols to TradeStation Radar. BLD. BLD in the weekly created a double bottom and now going up. Interestingly, when it created the second leg of the double bottom, it created a false downside breakout at the watermark support level, the pivot support. And we had a bullish headwind at the same time, which was also at a watermark support level in the daily chart. We had pressure extreme, pressure U-turn, pendulum low reversal. Very similar to Citibank, very different industry. So we could confidently take the long position at this point. 
we could book partial profit and could hold on to partial position if we wanted. Right now it is inside a triangle pattern. It didn't drop much. The industry is relatively weaker, but this stock is fundamentally strong and price didn't drop much after recovering from the bottom. Now if it breaks out of the triangle pattern, at the breakout point, we may not have very low risk entry opportunity. We may wait for a pullback and then price to go up again. Or if you are more active trader after breakout, you may use the fine tune real time chart instead of using the daily chart template that we have. We can use the fine tune template that is applicable to real time chart and try to make a precise entry at the breakout time. Let's look at the next stock, KB Home. Weekly displayed a bullish headwind. Right now, weekly is inside a triangle pattern. The backdrop candle color is remaining bullish. In daily, displayed a bullish headwind. There was a big gap down, not sure, related to earnings or not. Maybe some unexpected news. There was a big gap down and price recovered immediately after that. And here you can see there was U-turn. Extreme pressure, bullish and pressure U-turn as well. Heavy selling immediately followed by heavy buying is the bullish U-turn. Those could be used to take a long position. In fact, it was very close to giving a sideways market or double bottom, in this case double bottom, box long trade setup because we had the bull release signal. Again, this was a case where price came to retest the level where bullish headwind came. So we could take the box long trade setup with more confidence. At the right edge, price created a higher high this was earnings time and now it has pulled back a little bit. If it starts to go up again and gives us a cyan color candle, that will meet all the requirements of a go with flow long trade setup because weekly is already cyan color. Weekly is already meeting the requirements. If daily gives us a cyan color candle, that will give us a trend following go with flow long trade setup. Fundamental is strong. We just need to see if industry is also strong or strengthening at that time and then take the buy position. Next stock, MTH. Similar case as in case of KBH, weekly recover near memory resistance in the weekly. Daily created a higher high, pull back little bit. Now if it gives a cyan color candle, it will nicely go above the white direction line also. Weekly is already cyan, so it will also give us a go with flow trend following long trade setup. PHM, Pulte Homes. Similar, isn't it? However, here, weekly is in set triangle pattern, but weekly is not cyan. Daily created a higher high, pull down, if it goes up, gives a sign color candle, it will also nicely go up above the white direction line. Yellow is already below current price. How far weekly is not cyan, weekly backdrop is not bullish. So if we had to take one from the first four stocks that we analyzed so far, we would rather take BLD, KBH or MTH, not Pulte Home. That is how we can eliminate some stocks when we have many fundamentally strong stocks and have to decide on few or one of them. Last one, Toll Brothers. This one is similar to the KB Home stock. Weekly went up after displaying a bullish headwind at the very bottom. Weekly candle color is remaining bullish. Daily went up after displaying the bullish headwind, created a higher high in daily, pulled back. Now if it goes up in daily, it will give us a cyan color candle and that would be a 
go with flow trend following long trade setup that is why in the market roundup i mentioned that though i found the industry to be one of the weakest one when i drill down i found several good value stocks with nice earnings growth and then technically they are giving about to give technical buy signals with unambiguous checklist conditions being met if price starts to go up this week you may keep an eye on that while doing this analysis on diversified banks and home building i already explained the use of pressure extreme and pressure u-turn and also reversal at pendulum low let me show how the pressure extreme can be used for market futures or ETFs for identifying exhaustion and then follow through day. Let's look at SPIDAR SPY. Let me drink some water. This is SPIDAR, S&P 500 ETF, SPY. We all know price dropped heavily. And then right at the bottom, it went up on this day. And we can see there was a pressure extreme, which was also a U-turn, heavy selling immediately followed by heavy buying, which also happened to happen at pendulum low, the dots were at magenta level, extreme low, and we also had a reversal candle. So that was a reversal day. And after price pulled down here, just for one day, we had another pressure extreme bullish day. that would be a follow through day. Usually you would apply the concept of follow through on the market ETFs. Sometimes you may apply it on stock charts as well. So we had a follow through day on this candle. However, we had, we had lot of indications that market is starting to reverse from this day itself. Reversal day at pendulum low, U-turn, bullish price bullish pressure extreme. What about QQQ? QQQ had a bullish pressure extreme, but no U-turn. And it didn't have a reversal. There was no green dot here, though it was at pendulum low. So SPY had more signals about reversal on this day, about follow through. We had the same follow through day in QQQ also. Dow Jones Industrial Average. The ETF DIA. Here we had bullish extreme pressure, no U-turn, and we had a reversal candle at pendulum low. So this was in between SPY and QQQ. SPY gave most bullish signals on this day, then DIA, then QQQ. We had a follow through day here with pressure extreme coming a few days later. Last ETF we want to look at is Russell 2000 ETF, IWM. We had extreme bullish pressure, no U-turn. We had the ETF at pendulum low, giving us a reversal candle. So this was giving more bullish signal than QQQ, less than SPY.
then we had a follow through day here when we had extreme pressure and price went up again since then price has gone up as i mentioned in the weekly market roundup price is right at the memory resistance in the daily chart for iwm this is not the area to take new long position instead if you had bought either iwm or any of the constituent stocks either on the reversal day or after the follow through day you may consider booking profit or protecting profit you may look for a short opportunity with very low risk if price starts to go down this week let me now we have time so let me go through some of the recent trade ideas i shared in our traders forum the forum can be accessed from forums.superiorprofit.co open to the public let's not pick and choose just go through all the usa market posts starting from the latest one we start with the first one the latest one about a pharmaceutical stock that was on a mark mark the post was about this let's go back to the top this pharmaceutical is flashing a possible short trade setup this is how the chart looked like at that time weekly bearish backdrop daily lower low lower high then a magenta color candle that was signal for a short trade setup and we had a memory support nearby so if we took the short we would quickly book profit we always try to look at fundamentals and industry rotation also i think i shared them pharmaceuticals the industry was not strong it was magenta earlier tried to go up and then turning magenta again over two days and over one day period at that time so industry was not strong it allowed us to short the stock in terms of fundamentals everything was in the middle valuation was yellow earnings growth also in yellow in the latest quarters in fact all the yearly earnings growths are also in yellow so it is in the middle if a stock is in the middle in terms of fundamentals we can consider taking long short both that's that was the analysis when i submitted the post on 10th january in fact i shared the chart of pfizer also at that time pfe pfizer weekly backdrop bearish daily broke below the memory support daily had a magenta color candle lower high lower low so we had a go with flow short setup in pfe also same industry what about its fundamentals let's look at the fundamentals and here i compared amrk with pfe amrk was yellow throughout both valuation and earnings growth but pfizer the valuation was yellow earnings growth was in green so if we had to short one we would choose the weaker one we would choose amrk and soon after i posted it price was going down heavily this is the fine tune chart and i in fact booked profit this was a very large drop so we could do a 360 degrees analysis look at the pharmaceutical stocks choose the weaker one because we had a trend following short set setup setup weaker in terms of fundamentals that is how we identified the trade and managed the trade let's look at the next one this is australia i am not going to look at that let's look at the usa next one catching the bottom of this stock worked out beautifully let's see which stock was that that was posted on december 28 
on a oil related company WTF WFT I think weather for the weather for this isn't it WFT here in the daily chart using the pivot levels the quarterly and yearly pivot levels and the stretch signal that shows who is in control bears or bulls the red dots kept on coming red or magenta dots for many 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 days showing that the bears were pushing price down for a very long time many many days and then after extreme activity down activity immediately followed by up activity we needed few more days before we had the bull release signal so we could use this extreme oversold condition followed by possible exertion and then a bullish color candle and bull release signal to look for a buying opportunity on that day on that day, single day itself, price was up by 29%. 29%. As of the time, I posted the chart. And very next day, this, this is the very next day, price went up further. Next day, that is the prices went up further, another 25 percent. 25 percent profit in a day, a swing trader is happy to book some profit. This is more follow up on the stock. The first post was based on this day, then price continued to go up, pull back, went up, was moving sideways. So we had an easy swing long trade opportunity we can look at the stock using at a glance template now wt wft right let me just check wft yes with therefore international we see that it is continuing to move sideways not sure if some company bid for buying the stock or not taking over the stock but it is moving sideways you can check for the news we could buy the stock at the very bottom and have a profitable swing trade let's look at the next post biotech stock up by 30 percent today scrolling to the top i shared it on December 28 this was the chart as of my posting day initial posting day weekly had a bullish headwind signal price was reversing from watermark support with a bull release signal heavy down activity followed by immediate reversal so in the weekly we had something like a box trade setup double bottom false downside breakout bull release signal and additionally we had a bullish headwind signal in the daily chart price came to this yellow pivot which is the quarterly pivot had bullish shape candles for two successive days they were preceded by heavy down volume which could point to possible exertion of brs and then on this day price went up as of this posting it had 30 percent gain and price recovered nicely from this watermark pivot level we had a bull release signal i looked at the industry the score was not bullish yet in magenta but the pace column was showing that it was starting to accelerate we can look for buying opportunity in an accelerating industry as well. So we had from industry rotation side, green signal to look for a buy setup in 
this stock. Fundamentally, OPK had very good valuation and very nice recent quarter earnings growth. So we had enough reasons fundamentally, fundamentally to look for a buy setup. That was on 28th December. Let's look at the latest chart. OPK, OPK. I shared the post based on this candle. And since then price has gone up enough to hit the watermark resistance level and we could book at least partial profit. The weekly is continuing to be in cyan color. Daily is consolidating. Now looking at this latest template, we can see that we had pressure extreme on this day. That was the day on which I shared the post, but I used the activity or volume bars to do my analysis at that time. Didn't have the pressure calculation. And I had the pendulum calculation from the pendulum template. It was going up from pendulum low. There was no reversal candle. We see one reversal candle came here. It is consolidating. If it continues to go up, we'll continue continue to use trailing stop to try to let profit run. Let me check this stocks industry now. OPK biotech. We can go to edge, go to sector, refresh it. In real time, edge calculates the sector industry stock scorecard in cache. And it displays the data on the screen that we are seeing. We call it a view so we can sort, filter, or even delete things from the view. The moment we click the refresh button, it retrieves everything from cache. And in cache, it is constantly recalculating everything in real time. It is connected to Thomson Reuters icon. You can see it from the title bar. So in real time, it gets the data, calculates everything. And during market hours also, we can drill down from sector industry fundamental get the latest information let's start drilling down from healthcare biotech the industry is not very strong if i open up the latest two columns two days and one day period it is improving from 33 to 99 80s holding on to the improvement if we see tomorrow the one day score is starting to decline. That may be a cautionary sign and one may book profit or at least put a hard stop. Sometimes a trader may have a soft stop that is a stop in mind using the Q protection signal, for example. Where is the Q protection? Let me have a look at that. I'm using hotkeys to change the template. The Q protection signal right now is at this level and our buy point was around this level we have booked partial profit so even if our stop is hit we will have profit on the remaining position also the current trailing stop is above our buy point now if the price starts to go down this week and we see industry is deteriorating and it closes maybe around 3.6 we will not have to wait for the stock to be hit based on the industry's weakness and the stock going below this area, for example. We may close the remaining position and we may look for a buy opportunity again later if it pulls down and starts to go up, gives us a cyan color candle. That would be the next trend following go with flow long trade setup. But for the current trade, we would be looking to exit the remaining position if the industry continues to weaken and the stock goes below, for example, 3.5 price level. Let me look at one more, the last one for today from the forum. You may look at the forum posts yourself that helps one to remain disciplined also. This is an example of long trade again, 
trend following long after a downtrend. Scrolling to the top, this was shared on 26 December on XPER, semiconductor stock. Weekly, candle backdrop color was bullish. Interestingly, the bullish headwind could catch the very bottom. In daily, we had a few bullish headwinds. Then it formed a saucer-like base. There was a big gap up. In superior profit technique, we don't like to chase gap up. So we would wait for a pullback and then price to go up again. And exactly on this day, we had a cyan color candle that was meeting all the conditions of a go with flow trend following long trade setup. Normally, we don't like to take the go with flow long trade setup is if power if price is near the upper boundary. But there is one exception that is when price was in downtrend and now starting to turn into uptrend. Then the first trend following long setup is expected to happen near upper boundary because upper boundary will take some time to change direction as well. That is the only case where we are okay to take a go for a long setup even if price is at or near upper boundary, which was the case here. That was the technical analysis. I always try to share the industry and fundamental analysis. Semiconductor equipment was strong at that time. Very clear, bright cyan, one day score. And fundamentally, expert has good value at that time. Very nice valuation, cyan color, and very nice quarterly earnings growth. In fact, the revenue growth was also positive. We usually look for EPS growth, which was there in this stock, and we had a short squeeze potential. The short squeeze column was in cyan color. So we had many reasons to look for a buying opportunity. Let's look at the chart with the latest template now, XPAR. XPER. Remember all these posts so far I made without the new indicators. The new indicators helps us see things a bit more easily. But the checklist conditions of our trade setups didn't change. They were created after a lot of research. They have all the necessary and sufficient conditions already. I shared my post based on this day's candle and entry price would be here. Stop would be just below recent low. Price has gone up enough to cover the risk distance. At least partial profit would be booked with discipline. Weekly is strong. So technically it is strong. If the industry is strong, then we will not exit remaining position. We will continue to hold it using trailing stop. Let's check the industry. I think the industry is decelerating, if I remember correctly. I shared it in the market roundup, semi. Let's filter for the semiconductor. The score is remaining bullish, strong. However, we can see which one was expert. expert. Let's look at experts industry again, the exact industry. That was semiconductor equipment. Semiconductor equipment. Pace is okay. If it was semiconductors, then we would be more concerned because five days pace is showing heavy deceleration in semiconductors. But so far, semiconductor equipment looks okay. They are related, however, therefore, you may keep an eye on the remaining position of the stock expert. Going back to the latest indicators, we can see after the bullish headwind. At the bullish headwind time, we had pressure extreme, then pressure extreme on the downside, pressure extreme on the upside. This was moving sideways. After the large gap up, we didn't have any bullish signal. So we would follow our checklist, just use the trend following long trade setup checklist to take a long position on this day. It's one hour already. Let me not go through any other post from the forum. I went through all of them. No pick and choose. You may go through some other posts. And if you follow the forum, you can. I think there is a button somewhere to follow. So 
it will email you the latest posts when they are submitted let me look at the usa market futures usa normal market is closed but the futures are open at least for partial day let's look at rty the russell 2000 the weekly was at memory resistance just above memory resistance last week this week that is one day candle is slightly down 7.2 points down about 0.5 percent down for russell 2000 for dow jones industrial average ym it's also down little bit however it has a memory support nearby so if we had to look for a shorting opportunity in any of these two we would prefer to look for that in rty not in ym but we have two more that is nq nq is also down little bit it is at a memory support straddling around the memory support the weakest one is still rty the last one is es s p 500 futures it has memory support we will not look for shorting opportunity here interestingly though this is not a full trading day it has displayed a bearish headwind signal in the weekly market roundup also i mentioned price is already extended to the upside it is safer not to take new long trades and now we have a bearish headwind signal though the day is not a complete trading day that is another reason to be careful we don't have to worry though until this memory support is broken but we may not take many new long trades at the same time that is all the time we have for today thank you for joining i look forward to seeing you in the next monday morning meeting have a great week and trade profitably